Today it is going to be a scallop and crab fondue, pretty rich, maybe a good fall winter dish, but nonetheless you're going to love it. First thing we want to do is we want to clean the scallop and we want to remove that little ligament that's attached to the side. That'll be as tough as shoe leather, so we want to get rid of that. So when we cook scallops, get the pan heated up. We've got a little bit of salt we're going to season the scallops with, we'll side some pepper in the pan and the oil I'm going to use today is grapeseed oil. It's almost odorless so there's not a lot of bad odors that come off the oil so good thing to use for high heat cooking. You know scallops the only reason they really stick to the pan is most people didn't get the heat high enough. Get the heat high. So look at that that's how you sear scallops. We got that beautiful golden brown on one side but we don't want to cook them too far because they're still going to go into the fondue and bake later. Now to make the base for this uh, crab and scallop fondue, we need to make a bechamel that's going to kind of bind it all together and give it this wonderful creamy texture. The key to making a lump-free bechamel is essentially adding the dairy in stages. If you put it all in at once, you're going to end up with lumps. That's a beautiful lump-free bechamel. Now we're going to add in the mascarpone cheese. That's good, and don't be afraid to try a little bit. There you go, creamy acidity, herb, salt and pepper. That's what we want. So a little bit of the bechamel, which is gonna go into a nice oven-proof dish. As I'm doing this fondue, I'm also thinking texture, flavor, and what, how it's gonna come out at the end. So I have different things I'm gonna put into it, and you can decide what you want. I have some breadcrumbs, which I've made. I got some crab meat, but it could be another fish that's already cooked, ready to go. I've taken some roasted garlic as well. I've got some whole grape tomatoes, and we got a little bit of panko, which we're gonna sprinkle over the end. So create your own fondue. Here we go. We wanna make sure that goes onto a tray so we have something to pull that out of the oven after. Something like this is a little too small to do that with. So the broiler's set. Let's go broil this. Okay guys, there we go. A scallop and crab fondue. And of course I added all my other stuff to it. And you can do the same too. Make it your own, personalize it, but you will enjoy this.